Okay, there's eight dead. Uh, let us stab this big guy over here. The Fathom Commander. I can't fathom, you know, looking like that. Search high and low. Turn the runes to rubble. The Tidestone will be ours. I like your bravery, little one. I'll enjoy gutting you in front of my entire battalion. Heavy weaponry increases time between attacks by 100%, but also increases damage, I'd say. My lady, Atissa, I have failed you. He talked too much anyway. To be fair, I'm in no place to very comment. <laughs> the knife watcher looks at you expectantly. Uh, Idris stares at the ugly head. Yes, that's him. Go on, kiss it. Kiss it. I'm... Uh, I'm glad to see that my doubts in you are unfounded. You seek Prince Frondus? Follow me. I'll show you to the Prince's Hall. May the stars guide you. I will escort you to Prince Frondus, if that is what you truly wish. If you get the chance, spit on him for me. Yeah, you can already see the start of this little storyline. The Tidestone calls to them. You can already see the start of this little storyline. Um, here. Um, and I'm afraid, it, 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 looking back on what I remember of it, it is wrapped up way too quickly. Way too quickly. Uh, a stranger approaches. A stranger. Hopefully he's an assassin to finally do away with that prince. I wish. Also, Aneblaze. I was puzzled over this pa Night Elf Paladin before, because that makes no sense. Maybe they could have a Night Elf Paladin now, but it makes no sense for a Night Elf Paladin back, you know, 10,000 years ago. The elves all worship the light. They worship a loom. Maybe the light of a loom, but not the light. That's actually a nod to a Hearthstone player. He frequently plays Paladin, I guess. Or something. It's meant to be a, a nod to a Hearthstone player who goes by the same name. These other two? No idea. The Enchantress is probably tied in with the enchanting stuff, but no idea beyond that. That's him behind me. I'm concerned for Elder Aldrich. He went out for a walk about 10,000 years ago and he's not returned. With these Nag attacking, I fear he may be in danger. He's a fucking ghost! If you dare venture out into the fray, do look out for our court elder. Good luck, Going for a walk, ha! Huh. He's probably visiting that con uh, probably visiting that little common girl he fancies so much. Ick. The Magister of Mixology. I know. I've, uh, I'm just suddenly imagining, you know, like him starting playing like funky music or something. As you must know, as you must know, I'm a connoisseur of drinks, specifically arcane infused spirits. He was taught by nuns. Uh, cocktail mixing is alchemy, and as everyone knows, alchemy is magic. And here I told it was friendship. Uh, my latest drink must be more exotic than anything I've conjured before. I already have m most of what I need, but there are a few items left on the list. Notice the herons down in the lagoon? As with many creatures on Azuna, magic coursing through the island permeates them. Their eggs will do nicely. Those eggs will provide the perfect balance of texture and arcane powder my cocktail needs. The eggs will provide the oomph to my character, to my drink's character, but there's another element, uh, but there's another element, and this must not be underestimated. Presentation. Now you could go with your standard olive skewered on a toothpick, maybe a carrot stalk stuck slapdash out of a glass, but then you wouldn't be me. No, my friend, what my drink needs to sell it visually comes from a one-of-a-kind one creature. I'm going to serve it once, so my drink deserves something unique. The eyes of Gangamesh are what I need. Magister Garhand wants all six of the beast's eyes to top off his latest, greatest cocktail. I should never have opposed Queen Ishara. Huh. His... Uh, oh no, that's the player I was wondering. I didn't yes. actually properly read it. I failed my people. We are cursed to spend eternity as ghosts. Azuna was once beautiful. Ten thousand years ago. We are cursed to spend eternity as ghosts. 
Leave me be. I'm really not in the mood. We are not amused. You dare touch my royal person? I should have you flogged! Yes. I should never have opposed Queen Ishara. Um, the we are not amused. Uh, that's always attributed to a queen. But I remember a horrible uh, reading about it it's in horrible histories, and if memory serves, provided I'm not, you know, misremembering it or, you know, what I'm remembering is a dream, um, she not, there's no evidence she actually ever said it. Uh, there's always in her in journal entries that she wrote, there's always, we were very amused. So, she never actually, to any, in any, you know, proper record by her, she never actually ever used that phrasing. So, it could be an anachronism. Um, like, there's another um, monarch lady. Uh, this is pulling on a different bit of history, I know. And she was attributed with saying something. But actually, what she was saying was actually from well, what was attributed to her was actually from a play. Um, people just later on just kind of equated the character in the play with her and gave her the quote. Um, yeah. That's... Uh, I t think it was Marie Antoinette. I think that was the queen in question. But I can't remember. The real one, not the fictional one. You would, uh, The supersizers were the ones talking about it. And uh, check the French, French Revolution episode if you're curious. Because uh, I do believe that's the episode where they talk about it. You, uh, you seek the Tidestone of Golgonet. Yes, I know where it lies. It is in a place to which I prefer not to return. You may be of use to me. In the midst of the snag attack, those horde fishermen flopped their way onto my lands and raided our graveyards. They steal the bones of our ancestors, and indeed the very bones of my people. Help me bring some souls to my people, then I shall tell you more about the Tidestone. It is through you that I will have redemption. And him saying that line just makes me think so damn much of uh, Darkest Dungeon. Which is something I want to uh, let's play at some stage. I did it a bit before, but I want to actually give a proper crack to it at some stage. I am honored. Ah. Oh, that's obnoxious. Well, at least we're 104 now. Won't be too long before I hit 1010. I feel bad, you know, being so fixated on grind, 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 but it's... I'm I'm really scared I'm gonna miss the pre-patch and not be able to show you the horde side of it. Plus, I'm burnt out as all hell, and I really would prefer to be resting, you know, like, uh, play, you know, playing something else right now. Playing more Eridor, you know, working on Mordheim, working on StarCraft custom campaigns, um, playing, you know, something else. But I need to cr keep cracking away at this. Okay, I need to hit up my thing over here. So many glitches. I'm not sure if I recognize the name of that Ashton guy. Oh, nice. He's a 103 now. Halfway true. Uh, won't send anyone off yet. An actual grab. Talk to you. Get an extra one made. Bell is such a dear. Very thoughtful of him to arrange for some scouting. I do hope that not too many of the broken died to get this information. Um, only a batch of tree. Her saying that it didn't wasn't there like isn't I think that's a parody of a or you know a hint at a line from Starcraft. You know so many. Whatever died to get us this information. Not Starcraft, Star Wars. 
Star Wars, yeah. You know, I've never, I've only ever watched um, the f most two recent main movies of Star Wars. I've only seen bits of the rest, or like Red Letter Media's things on them, or what have you. You know, never actually sat down and watched all of, you know, Episode Four. Um, I did see the first like twenty minutes of it, but that was it. I'm uh, barring other clips. In any case, I now have the means and the perfect location within the Black Temple to make our grand entrance. The book from La uh, Landlock is, a v is very enlightening. It describes a technique which will bi provide a simple and elegant bypass around the te Black Temple's holy barriers. I will need but a moment to summon a gateway. Travel to the Black Temple and confront the Kama. Convince him to join forces with you in the fight against the Burning Legion. Let's do this. The gateway will be open momentarily, my dear. I'll need but a moment to summon the gateway. Please stand back, please. Temple and Akama await your leisure. Ah, on the old Black Temple loading screen. You successfully pierced the Holy Barriers protecting Black Temple. C confer with Kane some fury. Uh, prepare to confront the Akama. You can go home. There's Jace, there's Blood Torn, there's Soul Eater, and there's uh, Mother Matron Malevolence. What is the uh, name of the lady from Black Temple? Mother Shazraz. Alright. Looks quite similar to the Mother Matron. Say model like. Lord Illidan, no it's good to be back, e even if only for a brief time. Perhaps, uh, perhaps one day we will retake the temple for the Odari. For now, though, let us see if we can convince a comet to join us, or else. We are ready when you are, Kaldoran. Uh, let, let's get up there, Kane. It's, ti uh, it's time to convince a comet to join us. Make certain that no one gets through that door. Remember, we are here to convince a comet to join us by any means necessary. I know not why you have returned, Illidari. But it is a grave mistake. This time, there will be no prison in the end. Only death. If we cannot go over, we will go through. Get it open! I see you will not be deterred. Come then, Illidari. Face your destiny. We are all that stand. Were these pillars here during the Black Temple fight? I don't think so. Like the uh, original one. However, you wished uh, this to proceed, we are with you, Calderin. I remind you that he betrayed the Master, leading to our imprisonment and Odin's death. If it weren't for Akama, the Burning Legion might already be defeated. We, while we want him as an advisor, his previous actions suggest he cannot be trust. He's not to be trusted. Don't misunderstand. The Master said we that we should recruit Akama, so I'm in favor of the plan. However, it does not seem uh, sound like he will, he's willing to be reasonable. Uh, well, Ari and I have formulated a contingen contingency plan just in case. Uh, here you, Kane. Well, hopefully, he will listen to reason. If not, to the Legion. We are only here Bloodhorn's to very eager. Even here, I have heard your name spoken, but I am not impressed. Hmm, maybe these pillars were here. Shall we finish this like beings of honor? Trapped in and, strang and strangled by Kama. Open the sky. Suddenly wolves! He's being stalked by them. It's all bro. Nature damage. 
is impossible. Kill that mongrel. No, wait. Souls. I have a better idea. I have a plan. I will never aid you, Demon Hunter. Like all your kind, you're no better than the demons with which you consort with. I see no difference between you. The Legion and your master destroyed my beautiful temple. Trust me when I say that one day I will have my revenge. You can t go twist in the nether Calderin. Then you leave me with no choice, Akama. One way or another, you will help us defeat the Legion. I'm getting too old for this. Just kill me and be done with it. Oh, I think not. Alari, it do will what be you my do pleasure. best. Oh, the shade of a comma, that boss. I live again. No! Matron Mother, get up here. We are returning to the Fellhammer. Of course, my dear. One gateway coming up. It's marked as undead, interestingly enough. So is this it? Well, that's a nice callback. She stays focused on me, just keeps turning with me. Fucking Mona Lisa of demons. Of course, I have to most uh, have to have the most flashy of exits. Who would have thought he would be working? Who would have thought he would be working with us? We're now one step closer to taking the fight directly to the Legion on their own worlds. We should uh, make a show of welcoming this shade of a comma into our ranks. It's important that the others seem as, uh, treated as one of us rather than as an outsider. Corvus Bloodthorn has proven herself invaluable time and time again. Her skills in combat are unquestionable and unparalleled. Find no champion better suited to destroying her enemies. It's time to officially raise them up as, as, as champions. Really, we get but the shade. I was not anticipating this. He isn't here on this list, is he? No, he isn't. It's a surprise one. Cool. That's good. Wouldn't see him coming. It's nice to have some surprises, you know. I've always admired Odin's singular vision. After all, the annihilation of Legion is of utmost, is of paramount importance. Nothing else matters. Nothing else can be allowed to stand in our way. You will take me as your champion. In return, I'll bring all my knowledge and power to bear on the task at hand. In time, we will destroy all of our enemies. Perhaps even Akama as well. I hope they don't kill Akama. I like him. Uh, Outland Tactician increases uh, mission success when accompanied by Ashton Warriors or Naga Myrmidons and can consume magic. I look forward to us working together to destroy the Legion. We are all it's about time, you big Lomix. For a while there, when you chose Asha Ravensong first, I started to doubt your sanity. Not that there's anything wrong with Asha, but we both know who the better fighter is, right? Anyway, of course, I'd be honored to be your champion. I accept. What took you so long? I should have been your first champion. Is that kind of an English accent on her? I'm I'm not good at judging accents. I'm I'm just taking a pot shot. Okay, let's just continue this for a moment just in case they send it off for not another mission. But let's start with look. Um oh, uh, up until now the Odara have been a fairly exclusive club, demon hunters only. But as you've so clearly demonstrated, my dear, if we were to uh, move forward trusting one another, then bringing a comma in is a part is an important step. It gives one hope. And of course, making Corvus one of your champions is the obvious choice. No one fights as well as she does. What's that?